Okay, welcome back. We're going to uh, speed things up a little bit now with uh, installing the integrations and add-ons required for the uh, um, Solax inverter. Um, so we need to uh, install various add-ons and integrations. The first one which is useful is the file editor and um, then the main integration that we're interested in is the Solax inverter Modbus. Um, we'll need the front-end PowerFlow card and if you're into Octopus Energy and want to integrate with that, then we'll install the Octopus Energy integration and the uh, the rates card in the front end. Many people deserve a lot of credit for these integrations and front ends. They are the geniuses. William Swan, uh, who's developed the Solax Inverter Modbus integration, has done all the hard work. Essentially, he's provided with us with a, an integration plugin uh, where you can have an interface in Home Assistant and his integration controls the inverter. It's very clever stuff. All right, so log on to Home Assistant and uh, go to the Settings tab down here. Uh, firstly, we're going to go to the Add-on Store and click on Add-on Store down here. You're going to add one. In the search box, uh, type File Editor and then click that. This is just useful for editing the configuration and text files if need be. Um, click Install Link underneath. There we go. So you can choose whether you would like it to restart uh, and uh, auto update and show in sidebar and then we'll just start that. I prefer to let those happen. Okay that's the file editor done. We're now going to go into the Solax Inverter Modbus integration. Integrations which are not officially supported by Home Assistant are installed from the Home Assistant Community Store. So go and click on your hacks link there. Um, in the integrations we're then going to add an integration in the bottom right corner here to uh, to explore repositories and you will type uh, Solax into there. Uh, so you can see Solax Inverter Modbus is the only result. Uh, we're going to click on that one. We're actually directed straight to the uh, GitHub page um, about the repository and these are the instructions for um, installation and for setting up um, if you want to follow those but I'll, I'll take you through them in the video so just in the bottom right corner here click uh, download and uh, just click the download link because we're going to uh, use the latest version so what we're doing here is going to install all these integration add-ons and front ends and then just restart home assistant at the end While you're in Hacks, I'm going to download the Octopus Energy integration as well. So you can see we've got the, the Modbus, which is pending a restart. So go down to Explore and Download Repositories again, and in the search box type uh, Octopus. And I'm looking at Octopus Energy integration for interacting with Octopus Energy there. Again, we're brought to the uh, Instructions page. Uh, click Download in the bottom right corner. And um, just click the Download link. And that's done. So, also from Hacks, uh, we'll need uh, some front end items, and uh, one of them is the PowerFlow card. So, again, click the Explore and Download Repositories link and type in PowerFlow here. Um, there are other options, but I'm just going to stick with the PowerFlow card to start with, uh, not the Plus version. You can experiment with that later if you want to. Um, again, that's the, uh, the installation instructions click the download link in the bottom right corner and click the download link for the version you can click reload browser if you want to um okay so uh, one more thing from hacks uh, on our list was the octopus energy front end card so if you're into octopus energy um it's a great thing to have it's the the current rates um again in hacks we're going to front end, click the explore and download repositories and click the Octopus Energy Rates card here. Click the download link at the bottom right corner and the download link on the pop-up box for the version. And reload the browser again for that to take effect. So there are all the add-ons and integrations and uh, front-end components that we need uh, to do everything that I'm going to explain to you in this tutorial. Um, there will be some more advanced stuff later on, but this is the, the basics 
of, uh, of uh, connecting your system and monitoring it. Please follow the next video for a configuration of all these options and um, uh, thanks for uh, watching and please like, subscribe, buy me a coffee, anything you like. This takes quite some time and effort um, and it's really nice to uh, support the developers as well. So if you, if you want to support them, that'd be absolutely fantastic. All right, see you in the next one.